What's up, friends? Just wanted to share this with you because I just uh, learned about it this week. And that is uh, that you can do QR codes with a Google Chromebook. Who knew? Um, so if you have like a Google form quiz or survey or some kind of like assessment that you want to do with your kids, um, I used to use iPads, but our iPads have all been discontinued. So now um, we're a one-to-one -one school with Chromebooks. Um, and I just figured out that you can scan with the camera on the Chromebook. So check this out. It's pretty easy. Now I'm assuming in order to do this, you know how to make a QR code. So <laughs> let me just give a quick overview of that. All you would do is just type in like a QR code maker on Google. You take your link to your Google Chrome quiz, you put it in there and it's going to come out with this little picture, which will send you to a uh, test, whatever the link is. So you could like send them to a, a quiz, which is what I'm doing, a little Google form quiz, um, or you could send them to a website or anything like that. So it's just a way to link a piece of paper to a website. Um, since I teach the entire school, it's kind of a pain for me to drop it into each kid's Google classroom. It's just a lot faster for me to give them a sheet of paper on the way in and they can all scan it as they come in. So you just open your Chromebook up in the bottom left. There's this little circle here. Click on that. When you get to this little search bar, you're going to type in camera, C-A-M. As soon as you type in C-A-M, it's going to pop up. Click on that and you will see the uh, camera pop up. Now there was a couple kids had like a little symbol up here. that was like a little square that they had to click in order to go into scan mode. Mine just has a little, I don't know if you can see that, but it's a little uh, thing that says scan right there and then you can go and click on QR code right here and it will put that little symbol up and then you just put the code up into that symbol like so and when you do that, it is gonna give you a link right there. So when they put the code up, it gives them the link, they click on the link and then boom, goes into the uh, components of fitness test. So that's a, a simple way to kind of get that in without having to do paper pencil stuff, which just takes a lot longer to process because Google form quiz, Google form surveys, all that stuff. It's just automatic and it goes into your Excel spreadsheet and then it's data that you've got without having to transfer over. So it saves you that extra step. So I uh, hope that was helpful and have an awesome day. Have fun and teach on.